Well, today on the show, we're over in Gautier, uh, at a place we haven't been in a while, but it's always great to come back here because they make you feel so much at home, and that's at River Chase Village. And we're talking to Ashley Smith, who is the administrator. How are you doing, Ashley? Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, first, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I've been with the company here for two years. Mm -hmm. um, I have started over as a social worker at our um, other home in Dunbar. It's in Bay St. Louis. Yeah, I've been there. It's Dunbar a nice place. Village. Yeah, Dunbar yeah. Village. Great place. Yeah. Um, so I started there and then got the opportunity to come here and be the administrator. So I've been here for almost two and a half years now. Tell so. us a little bit about River Chase Village and uh, the, the different services that they do provide. Um, you are not an assisted living place. We are not, no. Mm -hmm. um, but we do provide rehabilitation, which means anybody who's had a short hospital stay mm -hmm. or long hospital stay who just needs some extra therapy in-house um, to get back home. Right. And then we also um, provide long-term care mm -hmm. and we can help even if your loved one isn't going to um, come here, if we have a waiting list, then we want to help the community mm -hmm. and be that resource and help them find other places or if they need assisted living. We have all of those resources that we can help wonderful. them with. Yes. That's wonderful. And then you've got uh, you know, such a pretty area here yes. uh, in which people are kind of tucked in um, off the uh, the main road, but a lot of uh, different uh, activities that go on during the day, your yes. rehab center and everything. And uh, we want to, uh, matter of fact, talk to one of your residents here yes. right now and find out about their stay here at River Chase Village. Yes. Tamara, you are a resident here. I am. And uh, tell us your story, if you would, please. Well, Jim, initially I came here after being in the hospital for about five weeks. Mm -hmm. I was bed bound much of that time. I was on hospice care and I wasn't ready to go back home yet. I was too weak and debilitated. Mm -hmm. So I came here and got intensive physical and occupational therapy and I started walking on a walker. Wow. Yeah, it was a big wow. And through the community of River Chase Village and activities and the therapy, hospice discharged me after two months because I was doing so much better. Great. Now I have MS and I go in the hospital, not frequently, but a couple mm -hmm. times a year. And every time I come out of the hospital, I go through therapy and pop right back. I broke my femur through a, I f fell and broke my femur. Mm -hmm. And um, I was in the hospital about four weeks with that. And when I came here, I was walking 200 feet out of the hospital and through therapy, I doubled that. Wow. Yeah, with a walker. That's Did amazing. really well. We're a community here, Jim. Mm -hmm. It's not a nursing home. It is a nursing home, but it's not. Right. I mean, you feel like you, this is your family, right. you know, and I have good support from my family, but I have good support from this family as well. And being a nurse, I, I knew this facility before I came here, and I knew that it was about the best you could find in the Ocean Springs, Goche, Pascagoula area. Mm -hmm. And it's not proved me wrong. It's just great. We have good food. We have entertainment, a lot of the community volunteers, and they come here for us and do, do activities. You know, the Girl Scouts, a lot of the social clubs, churches come and sing, and you know, you're never bored. Yeah. There's always something to look forward to. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, we're going to go inside and take a quick little tour because I hear they've got a barbecue going we on. We do. We have them quite frequently. All right. Well, let's go yeah. check it out here at River Chase Village in Gautier. This is beautiful out here. Yes. Very we have nice. a beautiful courtyard over here and um, we come out here often for really anything whenever the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. Today we're doing a little barbecue and we just keep the door open for anybody who wants to enjoy it. Come and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, uh, Tamara was mentioning that uh, here recently the weather was beautiful and everybody just came out here on a Sunday afternoon and just enjoyed it. Yes. It's just so nice. It's very peaceful out here. Yes. It really, really is nice. I mean, all the grounds are kept up. And I love the the number of different uh, bird feeders and everything that y'all have. And out those here are individualized. Um, the elders who live here, um, they keep them right outside their window, mm -hmm. or um, they garden too. Um, a lot of these flowers, especially the rose bushes over there, mm -hmm. are done by some of the elders. Now inside, 
So you have uh, different activities that they can enjoy. Yes, yes. Um, they like, we have a lot of gamers here. Mm -hmm. And so there's different games that we play. We have a skip bow team. We have a uh, boo ray team. And we have a rummy cube team. <laughs> Wow. Which I had never heard of any of those games before I came no, here. No, <laughs> I, I, what was the first one? Skip something? Skip bow. No, never. Boo Ray I've heard of, but Skip bow, mm -mm, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. But again, it's, it's so roomy in here, and you, you they've always constantly got something to, going on and something to do. Yes, we are um, one of 200 homes in the United States who um, follows the Eden Alternative. Mm -hmm. And that just means that we want them to have quality of life, mm -hmm. and they should. Um, nursing homes are not just meant to go into and that be the end of their life. Right, um, right. So we really do focus on that quality, and for the care partners too, the employees, you see them playing with them. Yeah. And that, that, being involved. That keeps a good relationship mm -hmm. with them. And what, what about the meal plans? You know, um, as far as, uh, you know, different dietary situations or? Yeah, so, one good thing is if they were home mm -hmm. and they wanted a cookie, mm -hmm. they're not going to have anybody there saying they can't have that cookie. They're right. going to eat it. Right. And if I want a cookie, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so if they so ask for a cookie, they're going to get a cookie. We're going to educate them, <laughs> but we're going to give them a cookie too. We're just going to say, hey, you, you may need to take some medicine after you take this, but that's right. So but that's, it's all about the quality. And that's why you make it feel so much like home. Yes. Okay. And you mentioned before uh, about, uh, and uh, Tamara did too, about the rehab center. So let's go up and check what kind of exercises they have going on right. here at River Chase Village. What kind of different rehabs do you do here? Uh, we do physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Mm -hmm. And like we said, this is inpatient therapy. So if they have a recent hospital stay, and this could mean anything from a recent fall or an injury or illness or stroke, mm -hmm. anything like that, then they can, um, they have the choice to go where they want. So we recommend families just go visit around at the different homes and mm -hmm. the different facilities and see where somewhere that they would fit in. What If someone is interested in using River Chase Village, what do they need to do? Um, they can contact us at our phone number or we have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, our number is 228-522-6700. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the number is right at the bottom of the screen there on your t uh, TV screen. But you've seen some of the different wonderful things that they do here, uh, the rehab as well. Uh, they're located in Gautier. Yes. Come by and check out, get a tour if you'd like, but it's River Chase Village in Gautier.